You love this? But, oh, 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 <laughs> yeah, he's complaining people are cutting down trees. We grew up at a time when we could see a tractor and everyone would rush to go see the tractor. Leave alone seeing a good car. Yeah, just a tractor or a truck. Everyone could rush. A tractor could come, could visit your school. Especially when they, we have our projects at the school. Then everyone would leave class to go see a tractor. I'm coming live from the river. You see? The beautiful environment around. I need to give you a story. As Africans, anytime we were growing up, we used to fight. Especially at, at the time we closed in school. So boys from a different region with boys from a, another region, you would compete on who could fight the other. Or else we could choose someone uh, from this region to engage someone else from a different region. And who wins determines the stronger region. And mark my words, that's the time we close in school. In the course of the semester, we be friendly, we playing together, we doing everything together. But when it comes to time of closing school, when we parting for the holiday, you choose someone, or you choose someone to represent your region. So anytime you ever see an African being too defensive, I mean, too defensive on themselves or their community, that is the result of what we experienced as little boys. I remember, yeah, I was climbing up the biggest mountain uh, in Kenya, that's Mount Kenya. Yeah, and by the way, I managed to go up to Point Lenana, so I need some club. <laughs> Very few people have ever gone to this point. Yeah, even, even whoever has ever tried going to the hill, Going to the point, to the, uh, the that highest point, Point Lenana, it's never easy. So I managed to be there. Then uh, the time I was going down, uh, some song came to my mind. But they are very old song, a song I used to listen as a little boy. Kavola, Kavola, Kamengele, Kwanauna, Mwaitunga, Newaki. Yeah? Basically, this is a song which Africans could sing and uh, to be specific people from my community could sing yeah upon achieving which reward am I getting from this that's what it means yeah I've won now which reward am I getting so there is a self satisfaction when uh, everything is working on your favor. So that's the reward. Your ego goes up. I mean, do you say going up or become stronger? Yeah, you boost your ego. And that's it, but then let me, let, let me talk about Ayamaru a bit. Ayamaru not, is, is not the discussion of my video today, but let me talk about, about him. Yeah, you guys need to know this. Anytime your family should come first before anyone else. When the world is turning against you, your family will always be there. If you die today, whether you are in good terms with your brother, your sister, yeah, they will still be, they, they will still be there to bury you. Yeah, you died today. These are the, the same people to bury you. These are the people to mourn you. We might pretend to you are your good friends out here, trying to tell you how your brother, your sister, your neighbor is so bad, to you how they don't support you. But the reality is, if today you are not alive, these are the people uh, who will be there for you. These are the people who genuinely love you. So many times, 
you as African we could fight with our our cousins, our brothers, our sisters. You fight, real fight. But still, the following, the the, the next hour, you sharing a meal together. Yeah. You see your brother being assaulted by some boys, then you are there defending them. So that's what the society taught us. Yeah. Defend the community around you. Me saying, I'm sharing a meal with his siblings. That excites me. So meanwhile, today I chose uh, to be at the river. Just to have a good uh, view of Africa. The other time I was there, I did a video. Unfortunately, the water protector case was still on, so I never, I never got the good views today I'm getting. Wow, you love this? Good view. This is a public land. On the, by the Maasai community. This is the, the only community in Africa which embraces uh, communism. Yeah, temporary communism. So they don't, no one owns land by themselves. And land in this locality is owned by the community. I know many people are like, oh, you guys are outside then. If you wish to fight each other, yeah, let me tell you something. Once I fought someone, we will still have a discussion the following day. I remember fighting with my friend simply because they belong to a different region. Yeah, a serious fight. Then the following day, we were still taking a lunch together. Do you think Africa is not beautiful? It is. For sure it is. I grew up looking at a uh, similar herd of uh, sheep and cattle. A very huge one. For me, I used to mix both sheep, goats, and cattle. For them, I can see they are separated. Sheep are alone. Goats, those that someone is looking after goats. Then whoever looking after cattle is somewhat different. Probably a man. So this is a small girl looking after sheep. Oh, the place is. Dusty. So this land is owned by the Maasai community. It's the only community in Kenya which doesn't subdivide their land. You just feed your animals from where it deems fit. If you see uh, grass, you spot grass somewhere, just bring your cattle, you feed. So long as you don't sell or you don't cut it and no one will ever question it. It's the only community. If you're hungry, you can go to my my homestead, pick a goat without asking me. You go slaughter it, you eat. Don't sell, you eat. 
then later on you can approach me tell me oh i did this i sl I, I took this goat i slaughtered i slaughtered it because i never ate food and that's so acceptable that's good right so that's africa and that's how that's the culture some people are trying to take away from us that's the culture everyone would like to have that's the culture which the so-called civilized people are so much against I'm so happy those people from the Caribbean are so much appreciating our culture and uh, they so much appreciate the, the African culture more than the Africans themselves. So today I chose to take you down the stream. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. That's the movement of the boat, right? Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is like a dream. <laughs> I can sing. So, yeah, I've had friends from the Caribbean who are coming to Africa purposely to know, to identify their roots to identify where they came from so through that I've learned that uh, slaves used to be held somewhere at Mombasa Hall Town where we had the whole harbour before moving to the harbour moved to Kilindini Harbour so that's where they used to Anchor the ship to pick the slaves. Yeah, to other nations. I don't know how safe this place is, but I'm confident. I will uh, come back. I will still go back to where I came from. I've never been here before. So I love the ghost sounds from the waters and the birds. This is what we used to call the sycamore tree. Sycamore tree. I don't know. I'm worried we might be having some wild animals from these areas. Though we have stones. I can always pick a stone and and hit them. Now the, the animal I'm so much scared of is leopards and uh, the cheetahs. But for lion, I can spot it from a distance. Right, let me go back. <laughs> we go back. God willing, uh, by next week, but one, I'm doing a video about Mombasa Hotel. I'll show you where they were holding the slaves. I'll show you more about Fort Jesus. Yeah. I need to learn more about the Arab culture and the Portuguese, how they used to live together at the coast. But for the time being, enjoy the beauty of this side of Africa. I wish everyone can appreciate Africa the way some of us do. Through this, through the, my urge 
to learn about uh, Africa. I've learned that uh, in Trinidad and Tobago, in Grenada, we have Pilau. Pilau is some kind of food cooked using rice. So they have Pilau at the coast, at the Kenyan coast and uh, Tanzania, we have Pilau as well. That makes me think they came from the coast. They came from Af from uh, Kenya, either Kenya or Tanzania. I know most people believe that they want to be associated with Ghana. I'm, I have no uh, bad blood with Ghana by the way. I love Ghana. So don't get it twisted. I know you would want to be associated with Ghana, Nigeria and those those other countries from West Africa but they don't have Pilau in Kenya and Tanzania we have Pilau This is the same river which swept several families. So some people were collected from this point. Their bodies were collected from this point. And see, we still have some more missing. But then, how is my video quality? I want you to leave a comment whether I need to improve or retain it. Now let me show you the struggles of every content creator. The struggles of every content creator. I need to check my camera there. African. So every content creator will always have this struggle. You have to set up the camera by yourself. You have to appear before the camera. You have to make sure you talk, you are audible and uh, you are visible as well. Tree. You remember there is a time I sat at this point, then I was showing you some goats. Let's proceed to the wilderness. I want to make an history. I want to have a story. Such that end time, the time I won't be showing this and I will be at the city, I will be traveling to other countries. You guys will miss all this I used to show you. You'll be like, we miss the time you used to show us about the wilderness. Showing us the river. Showing us how people lived at the village. Showing you the sycamore trees. So these were the Maasai people are uh, great they are catered from. I 
I need to go across this uh, so I'm, I'm in a depression so I need to go up there so we are still inside the great rift valley the only rift valley we have in the world so this used to be a raised land but due to depression it, the area sunk and that's how this rift valley was formed we have several lakes inside uh, the rift valley one of them being lake nakuru we have lake naivasha we have lake elementator yeah which are salty lake salty lakes i don't know why is it that uh, most lakes inside the rift valley are salty We have Lake uh, Tukana as well. Then several mountains which are still active to date. We have Me uh, Menengai, which is in Nakuru. Yeah. Still an active volcano. We have Lake Elementator, which is in Naivasha. So generally, this is Nakuru County. So every mountain inside this place is active. We trust that uh, a time is coming when the mountains might erupt again. We have been having incidents whereby... Do we call them incidents or theories? But they, we, we have a crack inside the Rift Valley and people believe that uh, Africa is divided into two but for me everyone is coming up with a theory for me I don't believe Africa is divided by into two I believe it's dividing yeah the division is because of the volcanic activity what's your view I've heard stories with people claiming that uh, Anytime they sink, like sinking a ball, yeah, and they would like to cover the ball again. You, you, you know what a ball is? A well. You'd like to cover the well again, yeah. It's very hard for you to cover it. You pour soil on it, and still forms another depression on top. So you'd better not never sink anything inside this Great Rift Valley, especially around uh, Nakuru County. So those are goats eating uh, the fresh cut tree. Then someone is looking after them i don't know if it's a man or a, a woman they all dress the same they, they dress on the shukas they don't wear trousers pants like me the current kenyan president is from uh, this beautiful region, the great Rift Valley. Rift Valley used to be a province, but they got this subdivided into counties. That's an helicopter. Some rich guy is flying. Probably it might be the president. <laughs> So we grew up using such paths, but that time we thought 
they were the biggest roads ever. So I used to call them roads until we found out that we have bigger roads, tarmac roads and other maram, uh, maram roads, the, the bigger ones, yeah? We grew up at a time when we could see a tractor and everyone would rush to go see the tractor. Leave alone seeing a good car. Yeah, just a tractor or a truck. Everyone could rush. A tractor could come, could visit your school. Especially when they, we have projects at the school. Then everyone would leave class to go see a tractor. <laughs> That's not funny. That's what, in fact, it makes me sad. And remember, there is a person I school with. They grew up in the same village, and up to date, they are still living inside the same village. They are still living there. They have never got any other exposure. It's sad. But according to them, they were living their best life, and they still believe they are living their best life. If you never involved yourself in drug abuse, you're still living a good life. You might not have money in your account, but you're eating the best food, fresh food from the garden. Yeah, you're interacting with very peaceful people. And uh, something you need to know, from the village, everyone is so friendly to each other. You live as a community, you live as one big family. Yeah, a one big family. Those guys from the Western world, I'm sure this is a cliche to you. Living as a community, it never happens to you. We have people who have been watching me and they tell me that uh, I even don't know my next door neighbor. We don't talk with my neighbor. You don't talk, you don't knock your neighbor's door. You can never lack something and ask your neighbor. If you lack something, you better ask the government. <laughs> you pay taxes to ask the government. Yeah? So in Africa, it's very hard for you to approach the government. But your next door neighbor will always be there to help you. Yeah? You lacking salt, assault, sugar. Yeah? You are cooking and uh, some stuff depleted. You don't have oil. You can always knock at your neighbor, knock at their door then ask for their help and they will gladly help you. In some western where you dare knock at someone's door, then they, uh, these people can shoot you or, or sue you for invading into their privacy. <laughs> and that's the current world we're living in. Wow, this area looks so deserted. But for me, I felt uh, I needed to be here and open up to my viewers, my subscribers, kindly subscribe to this channel. My name is Go See Africa, and uh, the goal is to showcase Africa to the world. It is to share with you all we have about Africa. That's something we don't know about Africa, and you like to know about Africa. You're going to learn right from me. So I need to start going back. So, guys here are cutting down trees for charcoal, you see? Yeah, we don't have trees at this point, only a few. And the few remaining, they're still cutting them. Wow. We will never teach these guys to conserve environment. And that's the mistake with living in a communal land. So you can never hear all someone liable and question them why they did this. Because they are never there. The person who cut that tree, probably they will be burning the charcoal when everyone is go has gone to sleep. They burn at night, you see? They cut the tree at night. Then during daytime, they are not there. And now the ghosts, the gods are celebrating 
tomorrow they will be coming back to the same point thinking they will be finding the same tree to celebrate on and so sad yeah the same area will be burning someone will be burning charcoal let me recognize the people who are being around me the youtubers for that matter I need to recognize the African Tigress. Kindly subscribe to our channel. Um, subscribe to the Black Geo. Subscribe to the Flying Queen. Subscribe to Machiavelli 254 official. Machiavelli does music. So support his music. Wow, beautiful Africa. So I just met one of the others here and he called me to complain that uh, people are cutting down trees. So he complained that people are cutting down trees. Wherever, uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, he's complaining people are cutting down trees. So I'm not, uh, yeah, it's wrong. So I don't know how to he doesn't know how to talk and I don't know how to talk using sign language. I need to train myself. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a mistake. It's so bad, right? Yeah, so bad. Yeah. Okay, so we have another one there. Okay, bye. 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 Yeah, Sante. Yeah, you see, that whole man is complaining how people are cutting down trees and uh, the, the environment is drying up. Remember, uh, these are the same trees which attract rains to this area. So, still he's not having somewhere to cover his head when it's too sunny like now. When it's too hot, you need somewhere to hide from the direct sunlight. Wow, I remember it's supposed to say at that point from the morning up to the evening. Yeah. Standing on the direct sunlight. Someone else cutting a different tree here. They cut it for charcoal. The essence, remember, it's not, it was not to show you about all this. I really wanted to talk about the African culture. How I grew up as an African boy, a very energetic boy. Yeah. How the community told me to be defensive to the community, the community and myself. Where are you watching me from? Leave a comment. Did you enjoy my video? I would like you to leave a very genuine uh, review of my video. Just comment something. Tell me, do you like what you saw around? Did you like my video? Yeah. What should I do to improve uh, 
of my vlogs. So my name is Go See Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber based in Africa. Have a good bye.